Okay, so I've been waiting for these to come out. And by these, I mean the Microsoft Surface earbuds. I've been waiting on these since October 2019. And now that they have finally came out, I honestly think that Microsoft waited too long to release these. There's been a bunch of earbuds from a bunch of companies that came out. And I think that Microsoft is working with a product that is already outdated in the earbud space. Let's yes. see some love. It's love day. I'm right, sure man. people love out here on the court. What's going on YouTube? Nicholas here with Tech Love TV, where we don't discriminate and we believe all tech deserves some love. Okay, so these Microsoft Surface earbuds are going for $200 right now, and they're only available in one color, which is this glacier white color, and I do believe a darker color is coming out later on this year. And as always, I'll put the links in the description down below. Going around this box on the back side, it just talks about the ultra comfortable stable fit with the voice controls premium sound and the battery life for these on a single charge you can use up to eight hours and the charging case will charge your earbuds up two additional times for a total of around 24 hours of time this does have a usb type c port on the charging case so when these are completely dead you can get these charged up in less than two hours and also a quick charger in here 10 minutes will give you an additional hour of playback time hold up hold up hold up before i continue this video i just want to send a huge shout out to tech score for sponsoring this video i know you're thinking to yourself hey nicholas what is tech score well, I'm glad you asked. TechScore is a site that rewards you for buying the tech that you were already going to buy anyways by earning cash back points that can be redeemed for gift cards and daily prizes. Okay, so now at this point you're thinking like, hmm, you're kind of interested, but you will probably want to know what kind of merchants that they're dealing with. And I'm glad that you're wondering that. TechScore has partnered with some of the biggest and most trusted merchants out there. You got merchants like Walmart, Amazon, AliExpress, Microsoft, DJI, just to name a few. So like I said earlier, people, if you're going to be buying tech or if you buy as much tech as I do, you might as well get rewarded for it. And also one more thing, if you do decide to use the link in the description down below to sign up for TechScore, go ahead and let them know that Tech Love TV sent you. So that's a win-win for both of us and we both can make money back together. So at the end of the day, everyone wins. Once again, huge shout out to TechScore for sponsoring this video. Now, back to the show. Okay, so for when you first open these up, you do get your earbuds right here on top. Let me go ahead and set those to the side, see what else we have underneath here. This is something different, it says, Find your fit, scan to get a setup. So you scan right here and I'm actually gonna have to try that out. It's from AKA MS Audio App. So I'm going to actually do that and see what that's about. Under here, it also talks about personalizing your tips, which I will probably touch on that when I get into setting up my fit with the app. You also get your USB type A to USB type C charging cable, and then you also get additional ear tips, which is different from what normal ear tips look like, and you do get three in all, so you get a large, medium, and small, and then underneath that, you do get some more literature. Okay, so before we set up all of this and find my perfect fit and talk about the sound quality, I just wanna to touch on this case real quick let me take this plastic off okay so this case is a very it's it's a nice compact size it's actually a nice look to it but there is no wireless charger in here which i do believe if they would have updated these before they dropped them or if they would have never talked about them back in 2019 um, and just drop them. They probably could have been working on them the whole time and actually included wireless charging in here for $200, I do believe that wireless charger should be in here. You have a USB type C port on the backside and then you also have your Bluetooth connection button underneath. And for this lid, I don't think it's a magnetic lid. I think it's more spring loaded, but it will not open up if you do shake it. Maybe if you drop it, it might pop open, but for the most part, if it's in a bag moving around, you don't have to worry about this lid opening up. And then here are the earbuds on top right here. And these earbuds, they really look like uh, miniature pop sockets that you know the pop sockets that go on the cell phone cases they do look like miniature pop sockets I don't know how I feel about how these look they just look huge to be completely honest with you and then also the earbuds are held in this case by magnets so if you turn these upside down the earbuds will not fall out of the case and then you also get your indicator light on the inside right here and it's blinking red when it's charging and I do believe when it's white it is completely charged this scan your fit portion right here it just brings you back to the surface audio app which I will get more into that in a little bit but going around the construction of these earbuds I mean 
they're just different. These replaceable ear tips right here are very soft to the touch. I mean, extremely soft. It actually feels like if you've seen the Bose 700 headphones, how the cushion around the headbands are, that's exactly how this material feels right here. It's very, very soft silicone feel. There are two mic holes located on these earbuds as well and then you have touch surfaces on the outside of these earbuds and it is an all plastic design and let me just see how these actually fit in my ears if i can figure this out they fit just like that i mean it's not a good seal it's a comfortable fit but not a good seal automatically it says my earbuds are ready to pair open my bluetooth settings and pair them so let me go ahead and uh open that up right now and show you how that works out. Here is the main screen of the Surface Audio app. So at the top right, it shows you my devices and it shows uh, the Surface earbuds and the Surface headphones, which I did in my last video. Let me go ahead and get out of that. And then if you click on the earbuds themselves, it'll bring up your device settings. So your pair of devices, equalizer, device controls, personalization. And I'm going to breeze through this very quickly, simply because I already went in great depth on the Surface Headphone 2 with this app. So if I click on pair devices, it shows uh, your device that you're paired to. Equalizer shows uh, very various presets. And then you can actually customize what you want as well. You have device controls has touch controls, optional diagnostic data, personalization, change the name, change the language, and then you have your updates about tutorial videos, helps and tips, terms and privacy, factory reset and remove this device. And that's it for the settings. You also see it has your battery percentage, your left and your right one. I'm not sure if it shows you the battery life of the case if I do take these out. Let me check that out and see what happens. Okay, so it does show you battery life for each ear, but it doesn't show you the battery life for the case, which is something I wish that they have shown as well. It shows you the volume on here. So if you turn the volume up, it shows you exactly how much volume that you have. And then it will give you any notifications right here. It says updates available, update your Microsoft Surface earbuds to get the most out of them. And you know what? Just for the sake of this video, I'm going to update that and maybe there will be some different features that pop up on here. So I'm gonna do that right now and I'll come back and um, hopefully this doesn't take too long. Okay, so now that the earbuds finally finished updating, that took about an hour. So if you plan on updating these earbuds, I know it's the best thing for you to do. Um, it's going to take a little bit for it to get updated. I don't know exactly what was updated when I did that update, but I'm guessing it's all internal in the earbuds and nothing to do with the actual app. So. With that being said, that is everything about the app. I ran through all the different sections of the app. And like I said earlier, I would have liked to see just a tab that shows the gestures, the touch gestures at a quick glance instead of going down here to watching one of the videos. And I know that can be updated with a quick software update push through the app. So I'm not really worried about that. And hopefully Microsoft does come around and just actually makes that update. With that being said, I'm going to go ahead and now test out the sound quality on these and then I will come back and let you know how that was. Okay, so after testing out the sound quality, I have to be 100 with you guys. I am impressed by the sound quality. These sound really, really good. The only issue that I am having is that I cannot get a good fit with these ear tips. I do not like these ear tips, how they are like this. I mean, it touches more than just inside of my ear canal. It actually is actually trying to get a fit in this whole part right here and then setting these inside my ears i'm always struggling to find that right fit in while i was actually setting up the app and updating the app i noticed that just having these earbuds in for about i don't know 10 15 20 minutes they started to bother my ears i can't see myself wearing these for a prolonged period of time without getting some type of ear fatigue i just don't think that the design for these ear tips are the best design and they could be improved on maybe in another version back to the sound quality the sound quality is amazing. The volume gets high enough. The highs, the mids, the lows. There's really good bass inside of these for good earbuds. The mids, very good instrument separation that you can pick out with the mids. And then the highs there, they are very good highs, pinpoint highs. Now, don't forget, I am talking about 
not at the default level it's not bad but when you go inside the eq you're able to adjust it to exactly how you want and that's when you get that very good sound for earbuds to me microsoft did a really good job with the sound quality on here now there is no auto pause feature on here so when you do remove an earbud it will still keep playing unless you throw it in the case and then that earbud will actually cut off and then the other earbud that's left out will still be playing now for the touch features on here if you double tap that will play and pause the music it will end and answer phone calls if you swipe up or down on the right ear but it will move the volume up and down if you swipe forward and back on the left ear but it will move the track forward and the track back and then holding down each ear but will activate your voice assistant but I haven't been able to activate Siri on here using these I don't know if it's just not playing nice with my mobile device or if there's actually something wrong with the earbuds themselves but also when I notice using the touch gestures my finger would actually get caught on the edge of the earbud and then it it would like actually move the earbud in my ear whether if I was swiping up or swiping down either way it went it's not like a smooth surface on the end of the ear but it's kind of sharp so your finger could get caught on that I know that seems a little bit picky but if you actually had these in your ears and you were messing with them, you would understand and know what I'm talking about. And then also, I had no issues with call quality, um, dual mic technology in both of these earbuds, um, so it gives you that very good call quality. And just like the Microsoft Surface headphone version twos, there were no latency issues with these as well. And so after going through these earbuds, testing these out, listening to the sound quality and the whole fit and everything, the sound quality is very good on these. I cannot complain about the sound quality, call quality, latency. Those are all very good features. I just cannot get down with the ear tips. I do not like these ear tips. All three of the ear tips, I tried them. They do not fit in my ears well at all. The comfort level on here is very low. I do not think I can wear these for a prolonged period of time. I think Microsoft just actually just took a chance on these and they were trying to be innovators when it comes to ear tips, but I think they swung and missed with these ear tips. I know there might be people out there that might like them, but I do not like them. And then with the touch surfaces as well, I'm not a huge fan of the touch surfaces. And I just think that how these earbuds are shaped on the outside outside they're just too big they stick out too much my finger gets caught on them when I do try to do the touch surfaces I am not a fan of these Microsoft earbuds how they are right now now if they come out with the later version I don't know but I think they would have to go back to the drawing board and come out with a whole different design that's just my opinion and then also with the charging case for two hundred dollars the only thing I don't like about the charging case is that it's not wireless charging. Other than that, I really do like the sleek look, the design, the feel of the charging case. It's got USB Type-C charger on the back side, and I think Microsoft really did a good thing in here. And I wouldn't be mad if they came out with a new version of these and didn't include wireless charging. That's just my opinion. Wireless charging is not make or break for me, but the thing that is make or break for me is how these earbuds fit inside of my ears comfortability is the most important thing when it comes to earbuds for me simply because if i can't wear them for a long period of time and i can't get a good seal i'm not rocking with these earbuds and that's the case with these so microsoft if you watch this you need to go back to the lab get with your tech team your engineering team whoever designed these and tell them to come up with something different. I really do think that you guys are starting off on a bad foot coming out with these earbuds. They just look outdated and the ear tips just aren't the best. And that's all I got for you people. As always, if this is your first time here or if you found any type of value in this video, go ahead and smash that subscribe button down below and don't forget, hit that bell icon so you get notifications on when I drop my latest tech videos. As always, thanks for stopping by the Tech Love channel. My name is Nicholas, and I'm out. Peace.